Air so. facts, which are going to give you a sip of wisdom. Oh, all right. Well, let's chat about fun facts about beer. Fun facts about beer. Uh, in medieval Europe, <laughs> it was common for winter ales to be brewed with a variety of spices, as we talked about, mm-hmm. uh, and herbs available at the time, such as bay leaves, ginger, cinnamon, and... Anise? Anise. I have a really hard time not saying anus with it because I think it's funnier. You can always associate it with black licorice. Oh, there you go. Um, this was partly due to the scarcity of hops in the, the region, which makes sense because it's cold. I'm not going to be growing. Yeah. Um, the spice oils were often associated with good health and were believed to have medicinal properties, uh, a perception that persisted through the middle ages. We've gone from medieval... To middle age. The medieval to the middle. <laughs> Which is funny because at least I am middle aged. So now we're in the middle ages. We're in the middle ages. We're talking about middle ages while we're middle aged. Oh, yeah. Following you now. <laughs> Excuse Look me. Look at that. <laughs> uh, we talked a little bit on the wassailing in the winter ales. Um, yeah, I mean, we, we basically hit it all. Like People would go carol and they would be gifted beers for their presence of lovely, hopefully lovely singing and to stay warm out there while it's cold and chilly. Uh, and it's meant to spread, spread holiday cheer. It's just kind of a nice way to, to stay in touch with people. Uh, one, of, one of my more favorite stories on here is the, since we, we did talk about that winter ales and the seasonals tend to be a little bit stronger, a little bit heftier in the booze hall because they keep you more warm they do keep you more warm and i think you just crave them more like keep you warmer like i mean i know i'm people do but like i do not want like this big heavy beer on a hot summer day i want something light you know people drink it but it's more of like a winter thing for me That's uh, fair. so brew dog released one of the the highest alcohol beers at the time which was released in 2009 and it was at 32 percent that's big beer big beer uh, called a Tactical Nuclear Penguin. Fantastic. Which name. is a great name. Fantastic. And what was fun about this is they actually used the brewing technique we talked about last week, the week before, or something like that, where you'd Couple freeze weeks, it yeah. and take out the water and condense in it, make it a uh, higher alcohol, uh, which is a pretty, pretty cool concept. And obviously, there's beers that are bigger now and at this point, but at the time, that was a, a big old hefty beer. And let's be honest, it's still a big hefty beer. That's, that's still a big beer. A big, I mean, Anything above 10. I feel like if we drank that by the end of this episode, we'd be pretty sloppy. It'd be fun. It'd be yeah, fun the challenge. barrel age got me last week. <laughs> that was what, 10, 11? <laughs> um, <laughs> no joke. <laughs> the, let's see. There's um, more other areas of the world that also do traditional ales that aren't necessarily what we think of as like the winter ales uh, would be like Japan. And their winter mm. ales are more local ingredients. And so that's going to be like uh, yuzu, which is a type of citrus fruit. Okay. okay. Uh, and they incorporate sake brewing techniques. Oh, yeah. Which that is. Makes sense. Yeah. So I think it's going to probably be higher alcohol. Warming. Yeah. yeah a little exactly. bit more warming. Uh, but very different from like our big heavy beers. I would mm. be very interested to look up what some of those are and maybe get some. It'd be great to know. Yeah, we should. Belgian strong ales, as we talked about, are often associated with winter as well. And you're going to have, you know, different spice ranges from uh, fruity to spicy to, well, usually they're pretty higher alcohol. But oh, all yeah. those are great ways to, to keep you warm in the winter and uh, some some beer facts about your winter beers. Those are great beer facts. Beer facts. You can throw them around at the dinner table. Yeah. Uh, throw them around at your favorite local brewery yeah. or just... Uh, Maybe tell yourself about them and laugh about it later. What my, my favorite part about it is? What? Is that it segues us into my favorite thing, which is <laughs> drinking and eating. Yes, same. 